well waking up this morning and seeing like more levels of devastation it really puts me in the mind that it might be time to think about retreat and uh, the I Ching says this is not a bad idea the wind is so destructive <laughs> I, mean, I did my best to make a comfortable place but it's no match for this wind and I don't know when it's gonna stop <laughs> in the spring you know it's very difficult to improve and repair a structure like this in the middle of the environmental effects that are moving against it you really have to do your best to prepare in advance and I, I prepared this in advance as best as I could with the knowledge that I had but of course I'm not a builder and tarps are really almost parasails I don't have walls I'm thinking to maybe pack up at least some of my things today and go to the hut which some other friends have stayed in before at this restaurant that's uh, closed but the owner is really nice and he's working hard to protect his place from the rains. try to secure this place and then maybe I can go there and think about it like I don't have to take all of this down right now there's sun today but it's still cold it's super windy honestly my motivation for repairing and fixing up and cleaning is super low I was doing so well to make a nice cozy place I really prided myself it was my it was my meditation of the day my daily meditation was wake up and, and have a nice warm drink, contemplate the sea, and look around and start improving. And I made incremental improvements over the past almost three months to make this place super homey and comfortable and cozy. You know, I had this couch that's now completely, you know, destroyed because it got soaked. I really put a lot of effort into making my stability and my coziness here everyone who was a guest they would comment on how cozy and nice it was and I was really happy about that to, to have a cozy place where I can host my friends and, and stay warm and dry but no well, there's no one around really <laughs> so there's no hosting and having to guest is a great reason to clean and I can be my own guest for sure but every time I have to reset from these uh, environmental disasters befalling me every time my motivation starts to decline so now I think motivation is, is very low for sprucing up the place I'm gonna make a retreat I can't say it's a permanent retreat because I don't really know what is permanent it seems maybe like a wise move to to go over there to collect myself a bit I can start to plan my next step because I, I don't think that it's, it's going to be possible to stay in this shelter in the winter if it's already like this and this isn't even the maximum that it can be and the sea is super high right now it's not even really possible to go along 
the shore. It's quite dangerous. So I'll have to take the up road. It's a bit of climbing, so it's some more exertion. So that's my note. I wanted to say something while I'm here uh, before I make, make my moves. I'm sad a bit because I'm attached to this place a lot. It's my home right now. And I don't have another place where I can go and live freely like this for me. You know, wherever I go next, I'm gonna have to do some kind of exchange for it. Although my cash on hand is limited. Uh, but if I can exchange some other things, it can also be nice. Beyond that, you know, I'm getting some inspiration here. And it's been helpful for me to be alone and do that. And, and I'm a bit attached to that aloneness so that's part of what's making me hold on and also I have a lot of things <laughs> so moving my things is also a little bit creating inertia in my movement but I'm not necessarily stopping or giving up uh, this is a great spot and even when I go from here I will leave materials in such a way that they're very readily available for a person to construct himself a nice shelter here. I'll, 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 I'll do my best to pack everything in the bunker that's useful and uh, remove all my trash of course. Okay, it's about time to see what's next on the dandy itinerary. Here is too powerfully wild. <laughs> 